Hey guys, fans of that telling the XDT here with another video to get another toy review of the Ultra Act Ultraman figure. Now, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the packaging he came with. Now, as you can see, there you have a nice image there of the figure himself, Ultraman. And that's where the figure was and all of its accessories, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Ultra Act, one of the most discontinued uh, Ultraman figure series. An Ultraman logo right there, original one. Ultraman, Ultraman Japanese. Uh, uh, Bandai logo and uh, what, yeah, other logo. And on the side we have Ultraman, Ultraman, and on the back we have Ultraman and a bunch of other um, uh, pictures of the figure. And we have nothing over here. And on the, in the bottom we have just stuff in Japanese that I cannot read. And on top it's just more silvery. And yeah, really shiny. So yeah. Now let's take a look at this figure. I got this figure from Mandrake at 12 a.m. Now, if you want um, Ultraman stuff from Mandrake, you be sure to check it at, uh, check it at like you know, uh, 12 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, or in the morning in Asia, or I don't know how time thing works. But yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I got this figure, and I gotta say, I'm really happy to have him. I have another one coming on its way because I'm going to customize this one to Ultraman Star. So, yeah, let's remove these, and let me just remove that accessory real quick, and let's take a look at the figure up close. Now, here is the figure, and uh, it's original look when you put it, when it was packaged. And yeah, it looks really good. Now, as you can see, we can take a look at the details up close. Gotta be careful with the camera. Now, let's just zoom in. Now, as you can see there, we have some nice detailing on the head sculpt. Really looks like the suit itself. Transparent whites for the eyes. Little black pupils for the, the, the eyes. Silver around the face, and it goes all the way around. And some red for the back. And as you can see, we even have that line in the back. Where the, the, um, the zipper is. Where the suit actor gets inside the suit. So... Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Even it goes all the way on the, all the way down on this booty, ultra booty. And as you can see, we have some tons of like red details for the, um, for the, the the chest and the color timer with that metallic blue paint or transparent blue for the color timer. Like, look at all the silver, so sparkly as well. Some silver on the arms. And as you can see, some nice silver details from the arms as well. Even goes all the way in the back. And on the legs, we have some nice uh, red. Uh, details like such as the legs right here and some red on the lower leg and on the, the feet as well even has some details on the feet uh, they don't even look like shoes or boots that the suit had and that's very accurate so yeah so yeah detailing and paint wise is really amazing now articulation wise, this is going to be a long, long, because of the amount of articulation they put into this figure. Now articulation wise, the, um, the, the head can move up like that, so you can get into that classic uh, pose. You can look down that far, which is good amount. The head can do a road tilt like that. So, yeah. The arms can do a full 360 rotation and uh, move upwards like that. Uh, has like a knee bent, double joint knee bent, which you got some nice poses with him. 360 rotation on the wrists and um, the hand, you can actually move it up like that or move it down like that because of this um, joint right here that has a line. If you move the fist like that, you can, move, you can, you can have the hand move like that. So yeah, same goes with the other arm. I'm not gonna do a bunch of uh, 
in detail of the articulation the body can move like this much that's really nice detail I mean, really nice articulation the, the leg can do a full kick like, like that much and they can move back uh, not too much because of the, the the ultra booty and the arm the, the leg can like I mean the feet can like do a full rotation I think but nah I don't want to try that toe bend the foot can move up like that down like that and a double jointed um, knee bend so you can get into some like a crotch pose and yeah same goes for the other arm, arm and leg as well. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Now yeah, articulation wise is very very good, especially for these figures at their own time. Of course, the Ultra Act figures are kind of discontinued, but at least they were very good for at its time. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the accessories real quick. The special effect accessories include these two um, ground impacts, like, you know, special, special like, you know, effect parts. So, yeah. It's like uh, if Ultraman smashes the ground, as you can see, we have nice detailing over there. So just the dirt um, flying in the air, the dirt flying in the air. And uh, yeah, that's very good about this figure. It comes with a bunch of accessories. So these are the only effects parts, and this one includes uh, the Ultra Slash. The chainsaw look looking uh, ability that Ultraman uses to cut through old Godzilla. I mean, got to cut through uh, monsters and even Godzilla himself. No matter which version, this Ultra Cutter will cut, cut through anything. So yeah. And we have Ultraman's iconic Special Ray um, effects parts, which is really good. I really like the, the detailing they put into the beam. Look at all the lines. And the hand, uh, yeah, you can see you can plug it in with the hand. So yeah, so those are the effects um, accessories. The other accessories we have is the hands. Now, as you can see, we have um, two of the, um, the about the grab view hands. I mean, just look at those hands. So just imagine those hands coming towards you. Very scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, the other hands are the karate chop hands. Did that drop? No, it didn't. Uh, we have the other uh, karate chop hands. Which you can like, you know, pretty much like have him do the karate chop or do the special ray without like the effects part. And uh, we have these two uh, more relaxed hands, or like pretty much relaxed hands, where it's like, uh, he's like, uh, no, hang on, where he's like, uh, never mind, I guess. And this is the two thumbs up, um, thumbs up, um, finger and pose thing. And as you see, we have a red color timer, which is a nice touch. It's very light and, like, hang on, let me just zoom in closely. Very nice. Very nice. And the last accessory we have is, like, a, a thing you attach to his back for those type of transparent, um, bigger holders where they look like they're flying in the sky and uh, yeah I'm not gonna put these on him because they do take a long time and yeah this review is gonna be a bit long longer than usual so I'm just gonna display him with some like you know hand uh, hand like you know hand accessories I forgot to do some uh, size comparisons, here he is next to my taller Ultraman figure, Ultraman Powered, which they're unrelatable. Ironically, Powered was supposed to get an Ultra Act figure, that sadly never happened. Here he is next to my um, Ultraman from Ultra Hero Series 100. Here he is with Ultraman Z. Here he is next to my Legging Collection 
um, Zio Red Ranger figure, another one of those articulated American figures. There he is next to Studio Series Bumblebee Deluxe. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's my review of the Ultra Act Ultraman figure. Now, what do you think about this figure overall? Overall, this figure is really amazing. I'm so glad I have this one and another one into my collection, although I'm gonna customize this one into someone else. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, this figure is good overall. Mine copy is just, it's been used because, you know, the, the accessories have been seen to be used and the box was open. And uh, I mean, I got it for like, what, like um, $40 or $50? I'm not sure. Um, I forgot. So yeah, it's good overall and very good for at its time. I highly suggest get the um, uh, SH figure out for Ultraman. And uh, yeah, if you want to have one for your display, if you're a huge fan of Ultraman, you should probably get him. If you're a huge fan of um, Kaiju and Tokusatsu shows in general, you should really get him. Since his figure is the most iconic out of the other Ultra Act figures. So yeah guys, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. All that will be linked down below. And yeah guys, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.